Well? It's that time of the week again. It's the Super Panic Frenzy podcast. You don't have to sound so Episode two. I'm not disappointed. I love yeah. doing podcasts. It's that time, that of, time the of the week again. again. This, that's yeah. the second time we've done it because last time uh, somebody <laughs> hey, screwed up the audio. Oh. Turns out that uh, when you do something last minute, it never works out if it's put in my hands. I like it when you put yourself on blast. <laughs> it's really humbling. Real talk. I don't have much expertise in audio equipment. I'm lucky that I was able to set up my pod farm thing at my own home. But we've got it in order this farm? time, so far as we are aware. So <laughs> we definitely back. don't. It's for sure going to not work It out. looks uh, all right, though, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's what's important. It, yeah. Yeah. Fake I it think, till you make it. Mm-hmm. Imagine months down the line when this podcast has all come together and we months finished our, our like 14th episode or so, and we've gotten guests. We've gotten everything we think we deserve from this podcast, and then we all die. Oh, like after we find our own, we just die? That's my end goal with this podcast. At least we'll have achieved success before we die. There we go. Yeah. Always positive. Mm-hmm. But the, not as much success lining. as a lot of our friends. You are just bringing us down yeah. today, man. Boy. Let's pick it back up. Yeah. Where's your energy, bud? My energy's here, you guys. <laughs> because of the mostly because I was getting pumped by doing that voice thing with the, yeah, with the that phone. was so <laughs> funny. So I actually learned that from my roommate though, um, where you put like the phone in your mouth and then you and open you can, it wide and make different. And you can put the speaker. Wait, didn't you discover it here when it's we like were like a phone, phone with harmonica? Your phone? No. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun times. Yeah, Most you put the phone in your mouth, and if you're playing wow. a song that you know, you can be like wow wow wow, oh, and you can no. make it sound like, and then if you close your mouth on it, it's like you're coming into a club, and then you can open the door to the club, and it's like wow 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 wow, and, and then you shut the door. Yeah, and then wow wow wow. And then we're not your friends anymore. So Steven is a child, and uh, we didn't get to talk about E3. No, we didn't get to wrap it up, really. Well, we did, but you guys just didn't hear it. Yeah, why did so, that? Why yeah. didn't you? Why didn't you guys hear it? Like, I don't even know. Like, why would that happen? I, I feel bad that we're just throwing you under the bus. Now. I don't care. I <laughs> get thrown under the bus all the time. <laughs> but anyway, back to E3 highlights. Um, so, what were all of your favorite parts of E3? I liked Ghost Recon. Me too, actually. I didn't play Ghost Recon. Uh, did you guys? Well, we didn't, we didn't play, play it. With it. We, we didn't get to play. <laughs> it. We were pulled we into a dark room. Performance. It was a. It was quite a performance uh, too. I've never seen um, a game presented in such a fun way. Yeah. Um, what What was so fun about it? Like, okay, so it is a co op mission between like four people, and the four development team people were the ones that were operating the mission, and mm-hmm. you got to see from all four different perspectives. But like, the what real treat. Doing. But the real treat. The real treat was I. Uh, who were they? I don't, I don't even know. know. I don't even but know. I wish we could get them in here. They're the presenters. They had two presenters. And their voices were just beautiful. I'd kiss their voices for sure. Seriously. So they were like they were like shoutcasters doing it. Um, well, they, they were, were more like uh, VO? trailer, like you Trader? a trailer voice, like yeah, yeah. in the coming this summer. Except not not like that, that <laughs> at not all. that at all. <laughs> That's a trailer voice I hadn't heard. No, before. it was like nice and deep and low, yeah. mm-hmm. and it was cool. Far on like my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost Recon was definitely a highlight for me. Um, it was so much fun. Got me pumped for the game. I also had a lot of fun doing that rock band competition. Rock that band was, was great. That was my favorite part, obviously. Despite Wait, it being so, so hot outside, and we were out there we for were all three hours, so sunburned, sunburned to hell. By the and end of, uh, sure. are you done peeling? Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ever no. since I've been to LA, I've had sunburn every week. That's because Me you wear too. sunscreen. I've been, like, I've been I do wear sunburned sunscreen. like three weekends in a row. There was oh like the God. shark dive. The shark oh yeah. Fucking rock band. Yeah, E three. That's my true. worst sunburn was definitely a few weeks ago when I was uh, I didn't beach? put yeah I didn't put sunblock on for five hours I was out yeah there. I saw like an Instagram picture of you and I think you were like tomato red no it's it was kind of terrifying dude oh and your whole skin peeled yo off. my peel was great though oh it was so gross <laughs> you were like, peeling on the shark dye like a human snake it was yeah so it was real disgusting. But uh, w- did we talk about like Raina's weird rock band thing on the stream before? I don't what know do you we mean weird didn't. rock band thing? She, so Raina has downloaded three thousand oh, yeah. songs. It's not a problem. Yeah, band. we definitely did talk no. about that, but it's so definitely worth revisiting because honestly, how do you spend six thousand dollars on sti- rock band? Yeah, songs? it still blows it's less my mind. Than that. So let's continue to name packs. off things that you could have bought instead of uh, the rock band well, songs. All right, let's, uh, okay, let's make it a game. Just, it's not just three thousand; it's six thousand songs between her and Mike combined. So that is definitely Raina complains. Not, that is fine. definitely Raina complains that, that she can't a quality used automobile. <laughs> or Raina also complains I can't start my own channel and get it the ball rolling because I don't. I'm not able to afford an editor. You, you could have hired an editor <laughs> for like two or three years. 
You could really? have you could have bought like an entire okay, suite listen. of like actual band equipment. It's like before guitar, I was bass, doing YouTube. Amps, it's you could have purchased lessons to things. actually learn. Yeah. You could have been in your own band. I don't want to be in my own you band. You could have you rented out a small auditorium. You could I don't have need probably to do that. bought an AK forty seven with a chainsaw attached to it. And and do what with it? I don't know, just to have. Just to have it. Just you could have purchased a lot of furniture. Okay, a don't lot of nice furniture. You could have purchased a memory foam bed. I don't need that. Who needs memory foam? How many of the songs have you played? All of them, probably. How, how many hours have you put like in? Like, a lot. I will, say, I will say, you are really fucking good. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, I mean, that makes me like, happy. No, all jokes aside, <laughs> Reyna was, like, on expert, just, like, hitting every single note. Like, I was... Your afraid. face during the... I love my rock band face. Especially you when you're not words. even playing the game and you're out in the yeah. crowd and you're like... Hey, listen, she, listen. She drums along while she's, like, in Prac the crowd watching practicing. other people play. Listen, Maude does the same <laughs> thing, right? It's Maude cute was doing to try to keep up with you. Oh. Yeah. Straight up. Oh! <laughs> bow, bow, bow. I don't know. It's good to practice. That's why we did it. We weren't trying to be lame. It was we were fun. Trying though. to be cool. I mean, uh, I think we're gonna have a video up on it, but it, but essentially we had to do a live performance. At Four times. Yeah, <laughs> like so a many lot. Songs. Like, yeah, they really they really lay, laid it on pretty thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. You were so. Drunk. Are we allowed to? Yeah, well, you, wasn't, show, you were dr when I showed up. It was, well a, it was 11 a.m. and you were drinking a cocktail, and I was like, "What the fuck? A jacket? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's happening today?" Well, uh, that's a whole story in and of itself. I there are parties during conventions, as mm -hmm. you do, <laughs> and I was at a party the night before. I think it was the war gaming party. Why don't you and tell everybody what you did at that party. Oh yeah, what happened to something? Oh, you know, that's nothing, nothing, you. nothing really happened at that party. Oh, sure. Sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm really. I'm positive. pretty sure we yeah. weren't able to contact you the next day because of this something happening. Uh -huh. That was a different party. That was the party before that was the twitch party uh Vern, i was like bro you cannot break my phone and everyone was like steve why would you even challenge him to do that and Vern's like i ain't no pussy i ain't no pussy i'm gonna take this phone and then he punches it and uh it was for sure broke it and no it for sure crack. broke the phone yeah and it didn't just crack the screen it actually broke it like from the inside i tried out. to plug it into my computer the same night and <laughs> to see if like i could still load files on it no no? no, no, um, but that uh, good. Yeah, that wasn't a hindrance at all at E3. Well, I mean, biggest conventions. I was so, with you guys the whole day. So Steve <laughs> is the kind of guy that walks in on people destroying their phones for videos, and then goes like, "I want to get in on." Me this. too, please. Yeah. Where do I sign up? <laughs> I'm just trying to have some real bros. Just trying to fit in. I get it. Oh, I get it. Peer you guys, pressure. I'm 22. I have a lot to learn. Yeah, we get it now. Yeah, we understand now. The next day at the war gaming party, though. Uh, there were so many like old people there that I just could not have a good time unless I was absolutely um, trashed. trashed for sure. So I did get you know a little bit inebriated that night, and, a little bit, uh, and then I woke up a little bit inebriated. Wait a second, what did you do to the Uber? Oh, okay, I was like, can you pull over a sec? And then I vomited on the sidewalk. Not a big deal. Um, <laughs> Definitely got rating. zero it's stars. Like zero stars for that down. one. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. Well, no, because the person who I was Ubering back with for some reason. You know what? No, that's a different thing. But they were oh, they were having no. a weird weird conversation with the Uber driver. I'm sure that they bonded over that. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and it wasn't on your account, right? So no, it's okay. it wasn't on my account. Okay, well, you're fucked. So your he's fucked. But uh, guy, I woke up the wow. next morning and I was like, <laughs> I woke up and I was, it was eight o'clock and I was like, oh, geez. which is already too late. Like Audrey and I were waiting for you for twenty. minutes. You were not waiting for me. Yeah, we were. We drove around and then we waited for you. We Yo, that can't be up. true. <laughs> no, no, because you're like, okay, can you meet us at Heirloom? Yeah, screw you, Raina. We're already there at Heirloom. No, you were not. I was there way before you. You were drunk. You have no idea what you were talking about. I wasn't about. even that drunk. I just woke up and I was like, Greg, could I can't drive. You know what it else you forgot? I wasn't that drunk at eight, but by the time it was 11 or 12. Like, no, I was, was okay, here's why I had to keep drinking. I was coming down. Uh, into a hangover <laughs> mode by the time I got to E3. Uh -huh. And we, we filmed a couple indie games things. I think it might have been Gang Beast. Yeah, and by the end of it, I was like, ooh, <laughs> this is, this is awful. Sick. Well, you know, yeah. it, ultimately, ultimately it worked out because uh, we kicked everybody's ass. Yeah, it's pretty uh, phenomenal. Except for, except for uh, they brought in these android superhuman <laughs> persons. From the future. Yeah, yeah. from the future that <laughs> played everything perfectly. Oh! And the expert. 100 percent it wasn't fair it's, it's totally not fair but it, we beat we beat uh everyone we beat chimney we swift's team and with everyone. hutch and yeah. uh who else who else was on that sham wow or uh, zero chill chill chilled chaos Tortuga. and then uh, i don't Reckless remember the Tortuga was there they're uh, so funny we whooped them handily also but they had amazing stage presence they really yeah, did they i'll give them that i'll give them i'd that. say that but we had some pretty we good stage well presence too. as well we you did had, you had great stage performance mm -hmm. you had a great performance my whole face my whole persona was like oh 
Oh God, yeah. the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I was really feeling it in the beginning, uh, but I was uh, a little bit in a panic about doing the the last song, which like nobody knew. Warrior. Yeah, and yeah. it's like a it's like a female vocalist that who's like an incredible singer at a very high pitch that I cannot mm. place, and so like that was the least comfortable I have been. Probably ever. I totally get it. It wasn't fair. <laughs> Mod should have taken over for that. You and Mod, Mod is from Did Australia. Did Mod know the song? Yeah. Mod has never heard of that before. Oh, I thought she was singing it along with you. No. I th- Mod oh, hasn't okay, heard of never mind. American what? things for sure. I just want to say real quick, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know by any means uh, it's just I drink during the convention season so because that's everyone. what you do so does it's everyone. just something to be fair yeah Steve doesn't usually drink and, and when you're at when you're at conventions like the, the parties are a big deal like all the publishers and developers they spend a lot of money on it mm-hmm. they uh, they want you to come and have a good time so that you think positively about their games even though oftentimes they're shitty truth be told <laughs> yeah. I'm not completely sure what wargaming is <laughs> <laughs> I'm not completely sure what twitch is uh, oh man <laughs> All right, so we missed a couple things at E3 that we wish we could have seen. Uh, mainly Battlefront, obviously, because the lines were like 45 minutes long. Every and then by the time. time we finally were able to get around and use Mod's VIP pass to get in, oh, sorry, they're closed. Yeah, it was uh, uh-uh. pretty upsetting. It was pretty sad. Uh, HoloLens for Halo 5. I wanted to I'm see, still but... confused about what everyone means by the HoloLens for Halo 5. Um, it's a virtual <clears throat> reality environment. I don't think it really. Still confused. I, it doesn't sound like it really has a lot to do with the game itself. It no, sounds it's like more with, the like your lobby has some stuff that you can pull up and you yeah, see like and you could like look at your gun. little figures mm-hmm. and yeah. You can, I've like, been look thinking about it, and I'm pretty and sure with that virtual like that. reality is just a gimmick, and it's gonna and it's die. Not the future? I don't think it's the future of gaming. I don't know, man. When I saw them doing the the demo with uh, Minecraft, that made me actually interested in Minecraft, to be honest. And I've never really been. You don't feel like it would get repetitive, and you'd quit it after five minutes or so? No, I like the idea mm-hmm. of like having it be like tactile. You know, like if tactical. It, yeah, if it were, if it were, <laughs> if games were more tactical. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then Your I think we would all phrase. we would all have a lot more fun with them. Um, I don't think it works for everything, right? Like, yeah, yeah. For for some stuff, it's really dumb, but for horror, right? Like virtual oh, reality yes. would be amazing. Because you imagine Slenderman. <laughs> yeah, your favorite. It'd be, it'd be scary, and and especially if like you you, you hear something behind you and, and you, you look turn. over, you turn back and the thing's right there. Oh my god! Like, Honestly, it yeah, could be really cool. That's awesome. Scares. Real and, like, talk. And I don't think about like RTS games and puzzle games, like actually being able to like physically move the parts around oh. I think is really neat. Oh my gosh, I wish I could remember my friend's game. He was showing it off at um, YouTube Space when we went there, but there is a virtual reality game where you put like Tetris blocks through the wall yeah. and you have to, it's almost like- That sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, and it's so cool. And oh my God, Ian, I'm sorry. I wish I remember the name of your game. Audrey does, Audrey remembers. That sounds cooler than Drawn to Death. It's so, Oh no, Nothing's Drawn to Death Drawn to is death. friggin' awesome. Well now you just offended your friend. Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> Ian. Your game is still fucking rad. <laughs> but not as rad as Drawn to Death. Drawn, Drawn to, to Death, death was, was, was like... Your life. I don't know if you guys ever in high school like doodled like heavy metal dumb shit like in your in your, your lined notebook paper. The moment I, I knew Brutal how to Legends. make a Thunderbolt, yeah. that's all I did. I was yeah. like, yes, tornadoes and Thunderbolts and lightning and, you know, that's what, Metallica. That's what, that's what this game is. It's basically like shitty punk rock, like thrash metal drawings <laughs> lifted straight out of... The, uh, out of the notebook paper and then placed into a battle arena. Yeah. Which is, a, like, let's be real, the battle arena thing was a little bit omnipresent at mm-hmm. E3 this year. Like, everything was like a, a battle arena. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah. So many. Uh, but in this particular case, the style was so cool. It was so, fun. So, so cool. Uh, the trailer, I don't know what we saw exactly, but we saw a guy get taken out and he changes colors as he's, like, flying through and then he lands and it's almost like a shooter, like a third person shooter kind of game, and yeah. he was like kind of traveling through and getting. And to you can design point. any character you want, and you just go in. I don't know if you can design. No, I don't think you design the characters. I think that they're already kind of mm. there. So what do you design then again? No, it's all you it's, just play. It. It's just it's I guess a visual. Oh, style. it looks like the kind of stuff that you would have drawn, but it's not like okay. It's then not what's like the you game draw the characters and put them in there. That's, we were talking about a while ago. There's about a kids game that does play, that. The claymation one. Oh no! Oh yeah, we were talking about another one. Um, I don't know the r- name at all. There was one where like you draw. Uh, oh wait, it's like uh, scribble knots, right? Where like you draw it and no, it that's comes the one to scribble knots. You don't draw. You like type in words and they appear. Yeah. Oh. Words. Wait, scribble knots? Yeah, scribble. You've never played scribble knots? I thought you draw them. No, you no. just type in the words and then you it and shows then it you appears. Exactly. Oh. And you type in like a noun and then an adjective. Like you can say like it's a cow, it's a flying cow. It's a flying cow on fire, and it just like keeps like 
making that shit happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's also on the 3DS. On the DS, how do you type shit? I guess no, it's on a uh, computer. Oh, I play it on Steam and shit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was only on yeah, the actually, handheld. Yeah, actually, I think I think uh, the game you're thinking of is called Drawn to Life instead of Drawn, drawn to, to Death. death? Yeah, no we're drawn yeah. together yeah. Really on that? Comedy Something Central. Like yeah, and you draw stuff, and then it appears, and you you play with it. For real, real. That's drawn there together. There was oh, there was another That's game. There was another <laughs> game where you can draw and make things, and it was yeah. called Tearaway, and I played it a That's little bit. That's what Terraria. It was. Uh, no, Tearaway. it's called Tearaway. Terraria. And you're like this little. Guy. <laughs> <He's never gonna laughs> you're this guy that's made out of paper, and all the world's made out of paper, so it's kind of like a pop up book mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, but you go in and you meet this guy, and he's like, "Hey, can you make it snow?" And you draw the snowflakes, and then the snowflakes that you draw appear and they're now there yeah and you can like you can like use the uh it was on playstation when i played it and you can use the um the little touchpad mm-hmm. to change the wind direction to like blow like uh bridges That's out and, awesome. like, and like kind of traverse the terrain and it, it was it's neat that you can just make up your own little characters and items and things in it yeah. why do i have this vein underneath my nose uh you said genetics last time yeah what Faulty could possibly genetics. cause this i don't know but you look like you're always having a nosebleed I Always. think that's fetal alcohol syndrome. Wow. <laughs> you know what game I did they only show the trailer of it during E3? Horizon? Oh, I don't know. Horizon Wireless? It looks um, really fun. It's for PlayStation, right? Yeah. The Horizon I remember one? like I was watching the trailer and I at first I was like, oh, so it's just about society afterwards. And then some goddamn robots, the robot things robot showed dinosaurs. up. Fucking Transformers, Beast Wars. Did they shit. explain yeah. why that's happening? I, I don't know. I just assume, okay, you know how we talked about steampunk and steampunk is just post-apocalypse and rebuilt with like one form of technology that's like overdeveloped and that's why it looks that way? It's probably that. Like there's so many, one there's so many like technology post-apocalypse games. But is there any where they're half creature animals? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> y- yes. Um, but that one I think Beast was Wars. the coolest one because it was like, it was like, Monster Hunter meets Turok or something. The gameplay mm. just looked yeah. real smooth. It looked fun. It reminded yeah, me of actually, Warframe. I love the style of it. Uh, I like the the main character. I sincerely design. hope though that she doesn't keep talking the whole time. Like it seemed like there was dialogue every other second. I think it's you just know? for the tutorial. It's just the, for the, yeah. yeah, she was like, "Now I need to hide." Um, <laughs> I wonder if you can play as like yeah, the different clans. Yeah, they always do that in the tutorial. Yeah. It's annoying. If you could play as different clans, that would be amazing. Because you know how there are different villages that got developed? And hers, we got to see, like, a wildling, because I just watched Game of Thrones. But, like, she was all about bows and arrows, but, like, are there other weapons? I'm sure I imagine so, yeah. I just, like, I really like the idea of an open-world game with giant robot dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Well, then you'd love the the new Ghost Recon. (laughs) Why? Robot dinosaurs. There's robot dinosaurs, yeah. (laughs) With four-player co-op. I think you are mistaken, sir. Look, I might have been drunk during the, <laughs> the preview. <laughs> so everything is just jumbled <laughs> together. Yeah. Do you guys oh, see the great. HoloLens for Halo? There's like, there's Slenderman and shit. <laughs> wow. Cool. And you weren't even like drunk a, that day. There's like robot dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, what else did we miss? Was we Tacoma missed? 83? Uh, I don't know, but that looked boring. Yeah, it was. Trailer. That's a weird one. I think uh, I think it's interesting. Yeah, it's about the Seattle-Tacoma airport. Okay. No. I don't think so. <laughs> What is it's like gravity, right? It's like the movie Gravity. It seems. How is it like that? Okay, on the trailer from the trailer we saw, it just looked like Portal. Honestly, we were just in like a huge um, elevator, and yeah. then we didn't actually see any gameplay. Yeah, there it. was nothing to it, so I really don't like, understand. I get the impression that it's about being lost in space, and that there's like a really good narrative. Do you think to it was it. inspired by Gravity? Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't be terribly surprised if it was. I just don't know if it has like when you when you have to choose between something like Horizon and that, it's like. I'd just rather shoot a robot dinosaur, man. Yeah. You know? like Definitely. I get it, but... My view of space has been deeply tainted by Sandra Bullock. From Gravity? Yeah. Because she wasn't... It wasn't a good movie? No, it was a good movie. Uh, she just... It was a good movie to watch in the theater. Yeah, she just kind of like... She screwed she up a lot. thought something I would watch at home. She frustrated me in that like, movie. Like, there was so much she could do. There was so much else she could do better. She could have saved lives in that movie, really? and she chose not to. Did you guys see that other game that had uh, robots in it? It was called Recode. No. There was no. like a like a woman and like a robot dog. And uh, in the trailer, they get attacked by these other like cyborgs or whatever. And the dog like basically detonates and blows everything ass over tea kettle. Oh, my know? favorite. And then she gets like the orb and she like puts it into like a different robot. So presumably you must be able to take this like. A soul Yeah, this, this thing that was the dog mm-hmm. and put it into all these different robots. And just think about how cool that so would be. So it's not just the dog the whole time. It's, it's other. Yeah, I think like orbs. there's like this sentience in the orb and she's able to like have these different robot companions. It looks really cool. That, that actually sounds real like, neat. Like, 
like technology apocalypse thing like like everything else but i really like the element of 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 partnership like mm. in, in a game so you're not always just like this lone silent i do create partnership yeah. i've been lonely for a very long time we know yeah, so you know we know we know I think this lonely. game is right for me. <laughs> <laughs> what other games can I get um, when I can I crave my partner from? Wow. Okay. Well, we <laughs> could, my favorite uh, cafe is Crave Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> um, we didn't get to see Cuphead. What's oh, Cuphead? I played it. You did? Yeah. What is tell Cuphead? us, please tell us. Uh, it it was a little bit unexpected. So it's by far the coolest looking game. Mm -hmm. What? Like it, it looks like a 1930s. Cartoon. Uh, it's that doesn't appeal to me. It's classic Disney. That doesn't appeal to me. Right? Pre Disney. Pre Disney. Like it's, it's like really before any of that stuff was around, and there were just like these like kind of musical cartoons. It's not like the black and white shit, is it? Uh, no, um, no, it's in, it's in color, but it's like this Technicolor sort of thing, and it, it looks like an old cartoon. It has the Ooh. it has like the uh, that might appeal the to flaws me. in the in the film mm -hmm. grain and all that stuff, and it just it, the fluidity of it is is it 2d is it a platformer yeah it's 2d it's and, but it's not really a platformer is it really not no it's oh. not so so in the the demo that i played you you walk around on kind of like an overhead map okay and when you go into these battles they are literally it's like boss battle after boss battle after Ooh, boss battle that sounds so and it fun. is hard as fuck holy shit um it's one player it's like, right i know you have a companion no, it's two player. it is yeah so oh. so you and a friend are are the are cuphead and mughead you could be my friend oh, for that mughead. Yeah. Yeah. you could be my friend and, for uh, that you and you got to figure out the patterns, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you have like a health bar, so it's not like one hit, one kill or anything. Right, right. And you you can change your uh, your projectile type. Okay. And, and like presumably power up and everything. Uh, it's it's difficult, but it's fun. I like hard games, yeah, so that sounds like, exciting. It's, it's very much a throwback to, to hard old games. Mm -hmm. yes, the oh, past, yes, like, please. The past five games we've been talking about, I've heard nothing about until today. What? Cuphead? We were talking about Cuphead I, at I E3, think but we just I, never got to it. A lot of people would probably say that, because there were so many games. Yeah. Like, I've, a lot I of sequels. I don't remember ever seeing so many games. And, yeah, well, going into it, I thought it was going to be all sequels. But but then we got now, generally, a lot, are a lot of these are a lot of these games coming out in 2015, or a lot of them. I want to actually forget that. When is Kingdom Hearts three coming out? Oh right, I forgot that that was like your most literally the only game around. I really care about right now. That and Battlefront, and Rainbow Six Siege, and uh, Ghost Recon, and Horizon. And, Horizon. and Horizon, and Horizon, and Cuphead, and Cuphead. Okay, well clearly, you but when really specific enjoyed specifically when is uh, Kingdom Hearts three coming out? Because that's really what I'm interested in. Does I anyone know? know? Maybe. Oh no, I remember now. It just says under development. They've said that like three times now. Uh, yeah, and the last time they said that right. was a trailer that released like two years ago. No! It's probably going to be like Last Guardian where they keep showing it every year for like three or four years. Which they showed again. I couldn't fucking believe it. They showed for like it. five, like a five oh, minute gameplay segment. Literally. That's probably all they have done. So Never going to fucking happen. Dude, if Kingdom Hearts 3 doesn't happen. It looks like they're really far in development though. It will, it will come out. You're so excited. I can't You're not be. What is, it, what is it with you <laughs> and, and Kingdom Hearts? Like, because isn't the it your favorite game? First, it's I got to choose between um, the original <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, and I forget. Uh, I was at some game store. I think it was GameStop with my mom, and I got to choose between getting Kingdom Hearts or because the game I really wanted wasn't uh, wasn't there. It wasn't available. So she, my mom was like, well, "You could get this one up what there." Was, what was the other game? Oh God, I don't. I th oh, Jack and Daxter at the time. Oh, cute. This so was between that and Jack and Daxter. They didn't have Jack and Daxter. They were so the guy was like, "You can they have Kingdom Hearts. It's pretty good." And I'm like, oh, "Fuck it, fuck it, fine." So I took Kingdom Hearts home, played it, and, and it, it's like the music's like, "When you walk away," you, and I was just immediately drawn in, and then I cried. Oh, wow. And that's, uh, the all game I, made you cry. Yeah. And it it was uh, your life? anything that can make me cry. I immediately just feel uh, like it's the most important thing in my life. I don't think I've ever cried playing a video game. Have you? Uh, Nor have I besides Kingdom Hearts. What? I don't think so. I mean, I came close with Walking Dead, but I don't think I actually cried. I cry during movies, though, like all the time. Uh, yeah, it's like... It's not video games. It's not like a I thing. definitely have cried watching like a movie or a TV show, but I've never <laughs> played a video game that has like that depth of character where I care that much. Did you guys just... You guys like wouldn't it understand. Like, kind of like, like not, weird melodrama. Last of Us was... Close? Well, the closest thing understand. I've ever seen to like movie quality storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, the closest I got to crying is definitely Walking Dead, probably. Yeah. Probably. But that's it. Like I what? definitely didn't. Kaz, what? The voice actor for Goofy tweeted that he finished recording around six months ago, so they were very close to being done. Wow. He's shaking again. He's wow, shaking wow, wow. again. He's shaking. Mm. Okay. Yay. We're this is the only you. reason I'm going to buy a PS4. Oh, wow. Or is Horizon only coming out for PS4? I is think it that's exclusive? A, I think that's an exclusive. Mm. Yeah. Damn wow. it. I don't want to spend another. Uh, oh, it's on. It's gonna be on Xbox One. Oh yay! Yeah. Screw it, you awesome. guys. 
Uh, yeah, the days the days of Final Fantasy being console exclusive have been long over. That I've was never always, been a big was Final Fantasy issue. fan. I don't like turn based games. I have no patience. But Final Fantasy is like half of Kingdom Hearts. It is it's the same thing, but with like Disney. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I just get really drawn into Kingdom Hearts and I forget about everything else. I don't care. It doesn't even. Because you like that it's Disney? I don't even care that it's Disney. I just like everything about it that just, it's all like a cohesive piece and it just feels like they're all my friends. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Boy. Uh, <laughs> just get really look into it. Let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, I don't have a lot of feelings, but when I do have feelings, it's always for Kingdom Hearts. We got that now. <laughs> you guys, I love Kingdom Hearts. We know. Talking about all these games that are coming out, uh, highlights a, an issue that we've been talking about a lot, and that is DLC and pre-orders. Oh, man. There's a lot of that going on in the news right now. Shit is getting Crazy. out of control. I rarely, if ever, buy DLC. Really? Ever. I, may, I bought Halo maps back in the day when they'd release like a map pack or oh, some I shit. I buy them all the time. Other than that, Mythic it's just map like, pack. I don't want to buy it or something like, else. I feel like I've learned my lesson. The pre-order bonuses <laughs> are always dumb. Okay. I did pre-order um, Fallout Fall 4. Fall 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 yeah. Fall fuck off. I guess. And, then when, and then often when you when you start playing the game, it's fucked. Like they, the publishers and developers keep putting out games that are fucked. Yeah. Um, and, we, they, and they expect you to I trust Fallout that. 4. That's why I pre-ordered it. I do trust you? I mean, did you play New Vegas? New Vegas. I didn't play New Vegas, but I played the shit out of Fallout 3 in general new vegas was one of my favorite <coughs> games of all time but for the first week it was like virtually unplayable mm. like it was so screwed up and there, there is always a chance that your game is going to be like that look at arkham knight well it's yeah. crazy arkham it's like knight the first triple a game disaster that's, that's a disaster they well, pulled it off the shelves yeah yeah um, it's that bad well okay so there are a bunch of games that are bad at launch and we read earlier about how the engineers software engineers are the ones that get fucked because they tell everyone that they're not done with the game at all, like mm -hmm. they can't release it, but managers or higher ups or whatever, whatever like politics they need to play, kind of forces them into finishing the game when they're clearly not done yet whatsoever, yeah. and that's how they fail at games. Well, the person, the person that gets fucked ultimately is the consumer, right? Like we're we're paying these premiums yeah, in the end, yes. for for items that we should get for free, right? By playing the game, mm -hmm. and and instead, look at look at Destiny, for example. They've got this Taken King thing where they want you to buy an, an $80, $80 pack that comes with all this like, shit you already have. the collector's edition, though. Normally, it's $40. That's the only way you can get Taken King. And that's why when, when Eurogamer did that interview with the guy, it was so, like... Aggressive? Which was the dumbest... Holy that was shit. the, the guy's like, the dumbest thing we ever read. When you see these read. emotes, you're going to throw your money at the screen. The screen it's like, yeah. what are we talking about? Emotes? They're dances. Like, dances, dances for your characters? Like, now. people give that I know a lot of people that, that would love those three emotes. Or $80 for that. It's just, it's I would pay $40 for three dance moves. It's would out of you? control. I would pay thirty dollars for four dance moves. Ew, you are easily the enemy right now. Yeah, <laughs> you're a bad person. is that the only thing that you get with the extra forty dollars? There's more though, I don't right? Know. I'd there's assume some... there's like skins and and weapons there's new subclasses. And stuff like and there's that. A, no, there's a new but campaign. Enemies. Or something, there's right? new enemies. Yeah. Yeah. The, no. Yeah. There's definitely new enemies. They just keep getting. They keep getting more. It's more and more out of control with it. Like they have a thing where where you can only unlock this quest if you buy a, a can of Red Bull or something. <laughs> People you are know? worried Which though is that what the codes um, inside the Red Bull. Yeah, and Dying Light is making fun of that right now. They have a thing where if if you pour yourself a glass of water, they'll give you a DLC for free. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, aren't people mainly concerned with the new Destiny DLC that it's like they're just rehashing a lot of the old assets that every, they used in the previous every one? Every Destiny update has been that. In fact, the game itself has just been really disappointing. Wait, that's not fair because all updates are just simply like that. Oh, this is different. Yeah, because but it's because it's so much. Yeah, okay, you're right. I'm, you're just, right. I'm just, I'm just sick of it. Like, I, I think we should just all stop. Doing DLCs? games, and we should all stop with the <laughs> DLC. How many times have you been burned? Like, remember uh, Bioshock Infinite? I okay, love Bioshock Holy shit. Like, yeah, I trusted that that was going to be good, and that. Wait, I what was the DLC do, for that? I, I thought. In it. I thought like, hey, I'll be able to play a songbird or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. And instead, it was just like nothing but bullshit. Um, I got really pissed at uh, Smash Bros recently because after E3 or June seventeenth or whatever, Mewtwo and oh, not Mewtwo. Mewtwo was available earlier, but like Lucas and Roy and fucking Ryu from. Uh, Street, Street Fighter, Fighter yeah. is available, but and like a certain map, like a Kirby map, is available now or platform, and it's like such bullshit because a these obviously all exist to be existed to begin with. You guys remind me that I am the best consumer of all time because I literally never buy DLC, and if I do, it's because Why? my friends are all playing it. Raina bought three thousand songs. 
Yeah, clearly. <laughs> I, 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 I have a fucking problem, all right? I understand. Um, but also, you only play Minecraft, dude. Like, what? Like, <laughs> I don't know, only play Minecraft. I, I, I can't remember the last time I played Minecraft. <laughs> Did you spend it was a couple days ago. Like two hundred dollars on uh, like CS:GO. Boxes? Oh my god, he hey. spent like five hundred dollars. Do you understand? He Overall, spent like $500. including the money from uh, the one card, which uh, is not that much compared to what I've spent on my own dime. Oh my god, I'd say it's upwards of eight hundred. <gasps> But hey, it's just re- it's just retarded. Gotta treat yourself once in a while, and if it's to CS:GO cases. But those cases don't mean anything. At least my songs, real. you could play the songs. What you you gambled and you failed. I didn't fail all the time. I'd say I have about <laughs> two hundred dollars worth of items right now, you guys. So you guys can all eat uh, everything. All of okay? all of this just like highlights the. F- the fact for me that I love Witcher 3 so much. Oh my god, why? Because there's absolutely no deal. Is there any Dude, need Witcher, for there to Witcher be a DLC 3, in guess, that game? Get what the, guess what the pre-order bonuses for Witcher 3 were. They blow uh, you. Hat. Fucking nothing. They come over okay, to your okay, house okay, and they okay. give you a Fuck pre-order bonuses, right? <laughs> guess what Guess what their DLC strategy has been so far. No, nothing. To just give you Don't shit for But free. Jeremy, has nice. the game been profitable? Giving it, giving it to you has the free. game been profitable? It's been immensely profitable. It's sold. Well, the joke's on you. Shit loads of copies. <laughs> Everyone is playing it. It's a really well done game. They mm-hmm. could have released it earlier and had it been buggy, but they delayed it until it was actually finished. Now, Jerry, right. you have been um, denying your friends and family a lot of social time Love to play attention. this game. I have been. <laughs> we know. And, and it's been wonderful. <laughs> glorious CD Project Red, thank you. <laughs> thank you for sparing me the trials and tribulations of trying to maintain a social calendar. It's just too much work. Uh, it's a lot easier to just go home and play Witcher 3. Yeah. Well, you know, you I got shit going on in Witcher 3. I got Gwent tournaments to participate in. I got what? horse races. I got to get into fist fights. I got monster contracts. Uh, I got, I, I can, hey, if I want to hang out with my friends, I can go see Dandelion. Wha- okay. Who's Dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Dandelion? <laughs> He's Geralt's friend, the bard, Dandelion. Oh the bard! By the way, he's preparing for fatherhood right now. Yeah. And w- apparently Witcher 3 is the way to go. Cut off all social ties. Everything everything you need to know about fatherhood you can learn from, <laughs> from Witcher, Witcher 3. Witcher 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I feel like I'm going to be growing up this weekend. I'm going to my first wedding. That's adorable. Wow. Yay. My first ever wedding. Oh, my gosh. Please that's, don't come gonna, back. You're going to have what? a great time, dude. Weddings are the best. <laughs> are they really? Oh, yeah. they're so much oh, fun. Wait, what's oh, so man. good about a wedding? Okay, like, okay. first my, of all, free booze. Free booze. So free booze. Stuff, yeah. free booze. Open oh, bar. I've been, I've been heard that they're... I've been heard... Okay. I've been <laughs> heard, <laughs> that, I've heard today some... Uh, what you done been heard? Rum, huh? Rumfield uh, cake balls. <laughs> Rumfield cake balls. You ever heard of Rumfield cake balls? Because I sure as hell haven't. I think that's either an alcoholic thing or a Wisconsin thing. Both That's are what they're doing instead of the cake. Everyone gets cute with the cake now. Yeah. Like, instead of a cake, we're gonna get cake balls or cupcakes. Or jello or, shots. Or, yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> That's a real <laughs> trash. Really? Wedding. Been to some weddings <laughs> for sure. Wow. No, what? the coolest thing about weddings uh, is if you're a single fella, you're gonna get laid for sure. Oh, for sure. Because uh, it's all about like like it's all about sweet sweet loving. Yeah. Well, uh, nothing makes uh, a, a girl hornier than seeing their best friend get married. They get yeah. real sad and horny. And there's what can they be meet? Why yeah. are they talking like that? <laughs> there is no know. there is no dancing like wedding dancing. It's yo. So first much off, fun. can't dance. Everybody That's dances. okay. Yes, I got it. Listen, yes, you I've can. danced at, at the clubs. Nobody, oh, nobody dance can, again. Yeah, at a wedding you can dance. Nobody can Trust. dance at right, a wedding, well, and, but everyone bullshit. dances at a wedding. Can and always, 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 they do like just straight up gangster rap. Like a white girl dancing. Yeah. Do the lips though. Que passon. Ew, que ew, passon. Ew, ew, ew. Oh my god, que this passon. is so gross. Horrifying. I know. Yeah, hey, mommy, maybe maybe don't sexy. do that. Maybe. Hey mommy, you, you beautiful. Sexy. Maybe hey, don't mommy. do that. Sorry. <laughs> oh Not the best. no. Do they do that at weddings? I'm going to. Uh, you can do see, that. See, the only thing is though, you this can get away with anything at a wedding. Honestly, I have to do a, a five-hour yeah. flight back to Wisconsin. I told myself I'd never return there. Why do you hate it so Because it's based. It's the south of the north. And not that there's anything wrong with the south. It's just. It's a bunch of farmland. The people there are like they just peaked in high school, and they're all that's, generally. That's really judgy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, peaked in high school in the sense that like they're the douches from high school that peaked. Wow. You know, well, no, it's not judgy. that everyone in Wisconsin yeah. is like, hey, I get to say that I lived there, okay, for a year. Oh, really? That gives oh, you yeah. the right. And I lived in the heart of Green Bay. Um. Oh, I hear they have good cheese. I don't like cheese, but yes. Oh. I think um, it's 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 really easy it's it's easy when you live in like a coastal city and like you would do stuff like this to mm-hmm. to think like that it's special or better but I'll tell you what like I I felt like like you felt when I was younger and now 
when I go home, I'm from like a total bumfuck town in the middle of nowhere. East right? bumblefuck nowhere. Yeah. And it's like I would pet horses on my way to school and shit. Oh, I love like, you, Braid. <laughs> yeah. I wish. It was like super country, right? I love and when it. I you had horses there, on the way to school, the why wouldn't you red. pet them? Why the fuck wouldn't you pet them? All the people yeah. that are still there, they have houses and families and boats and fucking four wheelers and cool shit. Oh. And everyone seems four wheelers really happy. are awesome. And they don't really give a fuck about their job. That is or the like, one thing I really do like about Wisconsin. They they enjoy their weekends. Apparently, that's the American dream. Dream. Their home life, like they, they, and they, they care get about family. They that. actually cared about each other. We have kind of instead of getting paid to care for each other, we have kind of dumb home life sometimes. We like when, when we spend all, when <laughs> Dude, we my spend home all life for the past like week has this. been literally going home and watching Orange Is the New Black and falling asleep to Nyquil. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally That's been my such past. A good life. Uh, I get it. You guys, I've been, I've been watching Black Mirror and going, "That was fucking bleak," and then play Witcher <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> that uh. I just want to say that I'm also off NyQuil now. Oh, are you? I only did it for three days. Only did it for three days when I was sick. Four days. I told you you're gonna get. Only did it for a week. I want you. Yo, Kim's gonna get addicted now. Then stop, Kim. He already looks like he's addicted. Drink a NyQuil bottle in two days. That makes you high. What? Needs to stop. Because he said he's like, I just woke up and like I'm in a daze and then I reached over (laughs) and then I went back to sleep. When you got when you got the drink, you got to sip it. Um, Scissor man. Yeah. Oh, Raina, straight up. Scissor. What's happening? Isn't that what happens to Little Wayne? Little Wayne. <laughs> Little Wayne. Little Wayne has and been known to cents. sip on the scissor from time to time. <laughs> did we even? Did we talk about the the Batman game? Oh, uh, we talk, oh my god, we, we talked talk about, about how the PC bit. version. Yeah, but we didn't really talk about like playing the on console, right? Why yeah, is so it we're that okay? The console is okay, but um, Arkham Knight got pulled from the shelves. How <laughs> quickly we transitioned back? Yeah, yeah, we're not serious. Not talking about we're business Nyquil. time. It's yeah. business time. But it's just like came to me. It's like literally one day after launch because it was shit on the PC. What is it like capped at thirty frames per second? Yeah, but a lot of people are getting like single also, digit frame rate. Also, holy look. Sh- what? Yeah, it's crazy. Batman, Batman, even on console, as good as it is. They are the they have been the worst culprit for the DLC bullshit. Like oh. really, have so they? many different pre-order bonuses, so much fucking crap going on with that. All I want to do is every, single time, like Quinn, every single time they have an edition that comes out like two fucking months later mm-hmm. that has everything for forty dollars. So like, why would I pay sixty dollars for it now? Because like, they want your money to reap in the views, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're recording it, sure, fine, right? That's a business expense, I guess. Sure. But also, but don't you want to talk a, about it with your friends regu- when you're playing? For a regular it? person, just fucking stop pre-ordering. Literally, games. the only reason Wait I buy a new game has been out. There's plenty of games to play. play you just don't need right. to do it. Right off the bat, yeah. Really the hype is out of control. Is it up to? Is it worth it? Is the game that? The great? game's so good. It's fun. It's awesome. Yeah. It's fun. Don't I, just it's... say it's fun, Raina. You know what it. No, really look, is. it's really, really fun. But like I always say, it's like not really my cup of tea anyway. Yeah. Like those games just aren't really games I normally I, play. I, which is why I've never played one until now. Yeah, I, I love the Batman it. games, mm-hmm. but I've played two and a half already. Okay. And uh, that last Lord of the Rings game, what was that? Kez Shadow Mordor. Shadow Mordor. Yeah. Shadow Mordor was exactly the same game. It had the same exact fighting mechanics, the same like bat vision Dude, thing. I played what? the hell out of Shadow of Mordor. I just realized that it's it's totally like playing Batman. How it's like, is it like playing well, Batman? Well, I like because Shadow of Mordor's system. combat a lot more actually. The combat system is very similar. Mm. The way that the way that you that it's balanced. Is like it by the same X, company? X, y, and everybody's saying that, that Mad Max is going to be the same thing also. Oh, so I kind of want to just like wait and play Mad Max. Everyone that just, saw the Mad Max, I'm demo ready, so I'm ready to really be good. in a different world right now. I'm having Batman fatigue. Did you have Batman is the new zombie? It's just like I'm sick of it. Did you see the new Mad Max game? Yeah, Finding Chance? Does oh, it actually really? look good? We didn't it looks get to see rad. It. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of a game is it's, it exactly what you were saying? Well, Alex it's kind of like, so Batman. the combat looks kind of like Batman, and the okay. driving looks kind of like Rage, but better. Rage. Rage, oh, Rage. was um the game that had the worst ending in any game, game of all that time. that everyone was real excited about, then it came out and everyone was like, hmm. Oh. It was fun. Like, I had fun playing it until it just became not satisfying because, like, the end, sorry if you want the shittiest game in the world spoiled for you, but the end boss is literally like blowing up canisters. What? That's so lame. That doesn't sound like anything. I liked Burnout a lot. Burnout yeah, was Burnout's sick. Burnout's my Paradise? favorite. Yeah. Oh, Paradise City's the best. Oh, oh so man. good. You know what, though? I mean, even I had a DLC. <laughs> if Fallout had vehicles in it, you wouldn't need to even bother with that shit. Yeah. That's, that's the one thing Fallout is missing. As excited as I was for Fallout 4, I realized the thing that I'm most excited about for it now is be- being able to like rebuild homes. I don't know why that oh, like excites me more have than the you game been itself. Playing Fallout Shelter? N- I can't because I have an Android. And I don't know when Fallout uh, Shelter's coming to Android. Is it in like the next week or two? It's never. That would be disappointing. They I'm said it was coming kidding. out in the next week I'm or two. Totally it is. Kidding. It's probably uh, going to come out in the it's, next week. I don't know. It's it, there, there isn't much depth to it, really. But on, in a strange way, there sort of is. Like whenever the you, 
Yeah, every time you like go into a room and, and there's like a couple of y- couple people in there, they're they're talking, and uh, and I've never really seen somebody say the same thing twice. Are you guys gonna be? Like, um, the, and the dialogue is kind of funny. Did you, you get know? killed by a rad rat yet? Uh, a roach, rad roach. No, but I have sent people out in the wasteland and and brought them back. How far into oh, it wow. are you? Uh, I've only played it like probably like a. You an have an hour iPhone, total. right? I was playing it on my iPad. Oh, <laughs> that's why. That's I think, why it, I I think it'd be hard it. to play on a, on an iPhone because yeah. it'd be so small. We were talking about that. That's why we were wondering how the hell you played it for so yeah. long because it seems so frustrating otherwise. No, I mean you play. You, you can really only. It's one of those games you can only play for like fifteen minutes mm. and then you like. Uh, you know, you put it away. Are you going to pre-order Fallout 4, though? Hey, look who it is. It's William Haynes. Will, you're on your own podcast. Will, yeah. what are you Come doing? There, Sit buddy. next to Raina. Pull up a seat. Yeah. What are you doing fucking up our podcast? Oh, look. He, look. Are you, are you <laughs> Will, what do you know about Fallout 4? Well, what I'm saying about Fallout 4, the mechanics <laughs> are just like Fallout 3. They didn't bring anything new to the table. Arkham Asylum is just like this game, and they know it. They took the... I don't know. Well, I know that, was, that, was that was actually surprisingly really accurate. Good. I made it yeah. all up. It's so <laughs> sad that you hit the, the points I on that. I hear people complain. I came to ask you if there is a ramen place close here that I can go to. <laughs> I just want to ask you that. Is there? So you, uh, you, you specifically sought out Raina to ask. I mean, yeah, Raina loves Wait, stuff. you're actually like really into ramen in the sense I that... I freaking uh, love ramen. <laughs> Thank you for watching our first set, buddy. I heard you're a ramen snob, though. I am a snob. That's really... Are you a sushi snob, too? No, I don't... What? Well, why are you a snob about ramen? Because ramen is not hard to make really good. Dude, Raina <laughs> and I went to the best ramen place in New York oh! when we were there. Holy Wasn't it shit. the best? Holy shit, right? Yeah. I know, I know. Um, Ipudo. It's Ipudo, baby. And we went it's to the one Pudo? in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. yeah. You went to Hell's Kitchen? Yeah. With Gordon Ramsay? Okay, that is not... Yo, I keep calling uh, Commissioner Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay. We know, we know. You keep Commissioner that. Gordon Ramsay, that's yeah. his name, right? Commissioner Gordon Ramsay, I yeah. wish. Oh, Batman Nightmares. He's Batman's friend. Batman. Him and Batman, Batman go around fixing kitchens? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's start you a series. You need to make your food more simple. This is never going to pass health code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay, Holy wait, shit. can we really start something funny like that? Start a series? Oh, wait, no, there's no way to do that in this game. Oh, that sucks. There and we also it, need Gordon Ramsay. Like theater? Yeah. Almost mode? Yeah, kind of. Guys, you guys, you guys. You guys. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Have you named that voice yet? Well, what? What, what his... Uh, What's his Chrysler? <laughs> no, that's no, that's too close to Nelson. Oh, Nelson. Yeah. Oh, when I part oh, my when I part my hair to the sides. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nelson. Nelson. Uh, hey guys. Nelson wait, likes wait, no, you carrots. have a lazy eye. Nelson has a lazy eye. Nelson likes a lot of different kinds of fruits. Gordon Ramsay's my favorite. Dude, when you when wow, there wait. is a there is Amanda's bringing in uh, her niece mm-hmm. who's a huge fan of MLG Hunt. Isn't that cute? When she comes in to meet you, you should do your hair like that and you should talk like that and, and that's pretend. Like, and act like that's how you normally are. Yeah, but yeah. when you record, you turn into this. You turn into that. Yeah. yeah. Let's practice oh a little bit. Oh my God. Bit. Yeah, that'd yeah. be amazing. Uh, hello, Amanda's little cousin, little sister. Yeah. Holy <laughs> 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 shit! Nightmares! You're going to give her nightmares. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't control my voice volume. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm really happy to meet you finally. <laughs> my name's Nelson. <laughs> Is that not you? I'm sorry, that's what you sound like in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Uh, wait, I like your uh, eBay voice. Which one? Um, oh God, the, the whole car voice. ride to back when we were we did the shark, shark video. The whole car ride was Jeremy talking about selling things on eBay, and the you whole guys, car ride back. I am so good at eBay. Even on the boat, really you were are. talking about yeah. eBay. He's like, look, I got service. Are, are you still into it? Like, do you still? I, I just sold a uh, a Golden State Warrior starter jacket. <laughs> Why do you have so many weird things <laughs> <laughs> from the eighties in perfect oh condition for like two hundred fifty dollars? <laughs> wow! Holy Did you shit! Put it up for like hundred? Yeah. Yeah, you put yeah. See, and then you're always you know. coaches. You guys don't believe what I just sold. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they were bidding for you like. You guys four aren't hours. gonna believe how much I sold this shit That's for. That's the voice. That's the oh voice. My. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a Brett <laughs> voice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that who you base it off of? No, I don't think so. Oh my god! It's so good. I don't so know good. where that came from. <laughs> it's so good. Oh man, you know what we uh, need to start soon? The Super Panic Frenzy Reddit. Oh. Yeah, that'd be fun. I thought one existed already. It does, but no one's really using it, which is why and I think... And it's not, like, official? Well, yeah. I mean, okay. it would help if we had some fans. <laughs> that would actually... No, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, that's Otherwise, it'll just one. exist in the abyss. Yeah. How do we find It's just them? us talking to each other. Again. <laughs> How are you doing, Rain? I'm in the other room. I'm actually sitting right next to you. Uh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> if we... uh, How do we become moderators on, our, on the thread? Because I don't think... Since we didn't make it, we don't really have any power, though. Oh. Right? Can we destroy the one that exists and then create a new one? 
<laughs> Raina, you are like Daenerys. You are Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen. Targaryen? Yeah. You're like <laughs> Dairy Queen. You're like oh, Daenerys that is Targaryen. really different. <laughs> Targaryen. Wait, Dairy Queen versus Terrarium. Daenerys Targaryen? <laughs> you're like Terraria. Terraria. I'm like Terraria. Yeah. You're just like Daria. Oh, I love Daria. <laughs> Holy shit, that's like my favorite show. You're like Kanye West's performance in Erase Me when he rhymes something with diarrhea. Aria. Right? That's her name. Yeah. I met a girl named Aria, and then well, something, 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 who? Okay, well, they're who's that? And you. they're wrong. No, they're not fucking yeah. with me. Kes thinks they're cool. Okay, you're Maddie wrong. hasn't seen them yet, but I'm sure he'd think they're cool. No, Maddie would think um, they're gross. Look at what you're wearing now. You're What's wearing like... You're wearing you look like, like you're from Greece. They're like half cowboy boots. I'm going through a phase. Yeah, look, doesn't he look and like you're gonna he's go, from Greece? And you're going to go from dressing like John Travolta in Greece to wearing those like space sneakers. You guys, I think my uh, goal down the line is to mix streetwear with prep wear. Okay, you can't do that. And you're I'm going to call it enough. Preet. Ew. Preet. Preet. <laughs> you guys know that's chill as shit. Wait, uh, um, going back to the shoes, do you know how much they were, the sneakers that he was showing everyone? Probably like $400. They were $400. Exactly I'm not going to buy them, obviously, because that's, that's... I mean, the only thing dumber than that oh, would be buying 3,000 rock bands. Yeah, I was just about to say, are you about to judge me for <laughs> spending that much that on shoes? fucking suck. Okay. At least it's a game. has good replay value. Shoes have good wear value, dude. Not yeah, but those. they're Not those. They're hideous. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah. They're terrible. But you're not going to get them, so good. Good for you. I may still get them. Okay. Should be told. <laughs> well, didn't you want to pair them with, like, sweatpants? If I just don't, like, eat for a month, I could buy those. What? Or not eat, like, out. <laughs> if I, I don't eat understand. and just starve myself, I could totally buy those shoes, and it'd be oh, so worth it. Oh, and it'd be worth it. Cool. Great. Now, Kez just came in with a crispy topic. Okay. I don't uh -huh. know if you guys read that, but I'm, I'm looking at him like, wait, what? I don't wait, understand what? it, though, Hot so we can't talk presses. about that. <laughs> Is this some insider trading news? Is this some Martha Stewart goes to prison news right here? According to Kezi, NASA is going to send a HoloLens to, to space. space. Maybe it is more than just a gimmick. Okay. Oh, the HoloLens, right, right. I don't understand. What are they doing with it in space? I don't know. Uh, this weekend. They're going to play Minecraft. <laughs> it's happening this <laughs> weekend. <laughs> but what does that even entail? Like, I don't understand the, sending the HoloLens to space. What can you do with it? You know what? I do think you just, would like, be cool? move planets. You know what I think would be cool? Minority Report, move planets. I, I thought would that like to see, start see in virtual Wait, reality a recording of going up into space and then doing a halo jump. That would be cool as shit. Wait, say that one so more time. So somebody like, has the camera on them, okay. right? Like going into the space shuttle, shooting up into space. Mm -hmm. You're outside the atmosphere, halo jump back down to Earth, oh. recorded it, and then you can experience that through virtual reality. How fucking cool would that be, that Rangus? That would be cool. Oh, I want to do it. Oh, Holy oh my shit. God. Oh, my God. You know what they should do? They should make you wear the um, the HoloLens thing while you're on that ride, that like free fall jump, and then you'll actually feel like it's happening. Do you guys remember when we originally talked about Batman Arkham uh, Knight when we were trying to um, talk about that, and then we turned into something else, and then we turned into this? Yeah, because all we could possibly do is ADD. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I had the question from the start why does the PC version not work and the console versions work sorry that I'm bringing it back to this but Actually, it's, that I, is that's a, a question, question that's unanswered no, for me that's a real and question. it's killing me inside to so think about this why does it oh yeah why does it not work on PC the frame rate thing or the frame, everything well, literally everything well dude it's the reason it's it just comes back to to the shitty business practices right like GTA didn't put out its PC version right at the same time that it put out its console version because it wasn't fucking ready, right? Mm -hmm. The coding is different. Like, it's not... It's the same game and name only, right? But the way that it works, there there are differences. Of course. Kes, could and you scroll? Because the name... Um, it, the wasn't, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't ready to, to be released. Like, they should have delayed that version at least, but they didn't because they wanted to get all the right orders. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The That's from DRM. what I've, I've heard is one of the culprits. Uh, Denuva DRM? The Denova? DRM. Den um... I guess, like, wh I don't understand how a DRM kind of management thing to protect DRM could possibly it would, it wouldn't be the first affect time. the game. It wouldn't be the first time. It's happened to Ubisoft. How uh, does that affect a game negatively? I don't understand. Like, what does it do? Wait, uh, I... Because sometimes... Okay, so the, the purpose of DRM is to protect the, the IP or product right. from being shared, mm -hmm. right? 
uh, and so it would block a shared version, but sometimes the coding is fucked in such a way that it blocks the version you bought also or interferes with its uh, with its um, activation. Okay, okay so... Um like so oh, it's almost like a region block. It might like yeah, it might block your game from working. It might fuck up the textures. Okay. You know, it I might see. it might it might like purposefully <laughs> make it unplayable. Mm. And so sometimes that's that's what happens. So they're so rough, intense about protecting it, the license. Or at the very least, keeps it from getting online. I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's insanely. Lame. I mean, I know we have um, the common opinion that DLC is just bad. Why don't we take Devil's Advocate for a sec and say that DLC is great? And what point are we gonna make from that? They're, yeah. But they're not great, though. Like you guys, I'm like devil's advocate right now. There DLC. Have been, okay. There have been have examples of it better. being great. So I think uh, going back to Fallout, the Fallout DLCs are usually really good, mm-hmm. and they they. Okay, how but, about but those aren't those aren't. There's a difference, right? There's like the DLC that's included on the disc when okay. it ships. Yeah. And there's the DLC that the team works on to create a new experience that is additive to the experience that you've already enjoyed. Right. right? That's what Fallout and Skyrim does. Where they dedicated a new yeah, thing there's like all there's like a whole team working on it. Like, like, okay, you know, and that's that's really cool. But but what I don't like is when you buy like a fighting game and there are characters that that you have to pay to unlock. Yeah, and like new weapons you know? and new clothes and skins. And the weapons and skins and clothes are always useless. Yeah, See, I'm gonna play devil's advocate and say I do like that stuff. Well, yeah, but is it worth paying the money? Well, okay, how about this? What makes a DLC good? Like, what makes a DLC worth it and good? Like, if what you, you have said, like, fun. They it has to add to the experience. It has to work, right? Like, if yeah. I get a, if I get a DLC weapon, it has to, like, fundamentally change the, the way DLC, that I'm playing the game. Mm-hmm. The way that, like, Kingdom Hearts, and it makes me cry, then it's good. That's when I know a DLC is good. Great. And I'm devil's advocate. <laughs> I'm a devil's egg. Yeah, we get it. We get that you can't speak English. We know that already. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I think this has come to a close. We've le- definitely learned a lot of uh, a lot of things today. We've gotten a lot of moral value out of what we've talked about, and I think that the moral of the story is um, that we have ADD. That I am not an alcoholic. Oh, straight up, I just drink during conventions. Raina, what did you learn today? But that you I are a victim of peer pressure. I am the one that creates peer pressure for myself. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that is you. I buy it. Um, I learned that we cannot escape ADD. Uh, we tried and we couldn't do it. Next time, we won't. Yeah. Still. What did you learn today? God, nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> uh, guys, it's been a real pleasure. It has been. It Don't hasn't we? for us, so yeah. you know we're just I'm here because we have to be. You are though. You are look though. at this. Look, yeah, look he at his definitely boots is. too. Oh, there, that he moved. posed for us. Yeah. Nope, nope. Okay, no, that's no. good. All right. Okay. All right. That was Steven Subtick. Uh, I'm Raina Scully. I'm Jeremy Azvita. I will see you next time. See you in hell. <laughs>